All right, so we know starting to run can be challenging, but it is the ultimate reward in and of itself. Today, we're here to talk about how to make your new running plan stick. I am Coach Holly, this is Coach Morgan, and we are gonna give you our best tips for getting you into that running training, and this time, you are going to stick with it. We will make sure of that. Let's dive in. So you're walking down the street and you see those group of runners run by and they look so happy and they're having a great time and you're thinking, wow, I'm just starting out on my running and I definitely don't feel like that. You may have lots of aches and pains, your shins may be hurting, your feet, different areas that you've probably never heard in before. Your heart rate's gonna be a lot higher than some of your normal strength training um, workouts if you've been doing in the past. And you're thinking, how do I get to the end, how do I get to love running like so many other people do? Today we're here to talk about how to get you to that end point. Holly and I have some great tips and tricks to help you get there, make you love running as much as we do. So next we wanna talk about a few tangible tips to help you love running, to make you really wanna get out the door and make it one of your favorite parts of the day instead of maybe your least favorite right now. So I have a couple of little ideas for you here. You can use one of them, maybe just start with one, and then eventually try all of them out in your day. So one of the first things that I really love to do is if I'm having like a kind of off day, is grab my favorite playlist, my music that's gonna really pump me up and get me out the door. If you have a special playlist or a podcast that you really love to listen to, use that, make you give a positive reinforcement for yourself. Also, what I, one thing I really like to do for my early morning runs is lay my clothes out on the floor so I literally have to trip over them when I wake up. Um, I'm just gonna put them on and get right out the door, don't even think about it. Also, running with a group of people, grabbing a buddy, maybe just one other person, to help motivate you. It's a great feeling when you get to actually motivate the other person as well, too. It's such a really cool experience. That's definitely one of my favorite things to help me stick to my running plan. So let's get specific about your running training. How can you make this something that you can do manageably from the beginning? We have a lot of awesome ideas on our run channel already around beginner workouts, so use those as your library. But one of the few amazing tips in all of those is gonna be the run-walk method. So that is gonna be a way for you to work out for multiple minutes at a time, even if you're not running the whole time. So you could try something like running or jogging for one minute and then walk, walking for two and alternating between that and then upping the amount of total minutes as the weeks go on. Another way to break things up would be to add in some strength training. We love strength training for so many different reasons. One of the main ones being, it just gets you stronger and more athletic for your running. It also keeps you in good form. And it's a nice way of breaking up running or your run walk method. So for instance, you could be on your little run walk Every five to 10 minutes, stop and try for 10 push-ups or modified push-ups and 10 walking lunges, and then go back into your running. So that kind of mix up is a nice way to break it up. Last thing I would suggest is holding yourself accountable in some way. Writing down some goals, either you're gonna work out two or three times that week, you're gonna map it out on your calendar, you're gonna sign up for a 5K in you know, two, three months, or just simply staying online or holding your friends and family accountable. So talking to those people, announcing what you're gonna do that day or in the month or two months to come, and having it down on paper is an awesome way to stick to your training. So a few other things to consider as you start getting a little deeper into your run training program is three main things, your nutrition, your hydration, and your sleep. Look, running is hard enough, guys. You don't need to make it harder on yourself by only getting a few hours of sleep and then trying to wake up groggy and go out for your run the next day. Now, if you're looking for specifics on all these, we have a whole nutrition playlist on our channel. Go ahead and check them out there. I just wanted to bring some awareness to make sure that you're actually thinking about those things, not just the physical aspects, but actually how you're taking care of your body through your runs. So I wanna get real about things for a second here. It is not going to be easy. In the beginning, you start something, you're super excited to get going on that. You probably wake up really motivated. It's all new. You're really looking forward to the different feelings of your training. There is gonna be a point where things get tough. 
maybe one day, one morning, you're gonna wake up and just feel exhausted from your training, maybe sore, or just wondering if it's worth it to get up and do it. This is why you have to have a purpose for anything challenging you're going for. I always like to have a really solid reason for why I started something, and chances are you've come back to this running training, you've been thinking about it for a while, researching it for a while, you really care about it. So go back to why you started and what you're trying to get out of it, write it down, tell your friends and family. That will be what you dig from on those days where you're not feeling motivated. You know, for me personally, and Morgan will share her thoughts as well, I was always associated with running from the standpoint of someone else making me do it or enforcing it. So I associated running with the mile run when I was younger or doing suicide sprints or, you know, no, no strategy behind myself, but it was always something I was doing for someone else. The thing that switched for me was when running became my own project. So when I was able to slow things down, make the calls on my pace, where I was running, when I was doing it during the day, and how I was going about it, everything kind of changed and that runner's high really, really felt more meaningful to me. And now I feel like it's part of this much bigger project around my own life as well. Yeah, and for me, when I was in did track and cross country in high school, I was kind of the same as Holly, always told what events I should be doing, um, exactly how my workouts should be. And when I really fell in love with running again is when I got out of college and started running for myself and started creating my own personal goals every single day. That's what really helped me continue to love this sport and stick with it. I'm gonna start. Yep. yep. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> Morgan, talk louder. I talk louder. Oh yeah, because we need to see. Is this good or you need to go louder? All right, so we know running has its challenges, but it is the- Here. We haven't said who we are yet. I just was like ready to come out strong. I know. All right, so we know running has its challenges, but it is the ultimate reward in and of itself. It, I was going to say exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> one more time, I got this. But today we're going to talk about some of the tangible things that you can do to really help these I know! Okay. Today we're gonna talk about some tangible tic ticks. <laughs> so next we wanna talk about a couple tangible tips that you can use in your daily routine to help you make love, to make you love running. <laughs> Like we have hammered home in this video, getting started is the hardest part, and sometimes the most challenging things will ultimately be the most rewarding throughout. If you are looking for a little bit more accountability in your training, click down in the description for a seven day free trial of our training club, access to all of our running training programs. You will love it. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up on this video. If you want, please comment below. I don't know if you want. That's good. Yeah. <laughs>